Hi everybody, welcome back to the Gate of Heaven video diary where we're exploring this story of the Bab, who, who is the inspiration behind my upcoming album Gate of Heaven and whose life is being celebrated this year which is the 200th anniversary of his birth and uh, the main celebration is happening in October and uh, so I hope that these videos are, 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 um, are helping, helping to prepare the way for that celebration. So uh, we're continuing our, our, uh, our, our journey through the Dawnbreakers in preparation for the release of Promised One, the first song from the album, which uh, I'm very excited to say is going to be released on Saturday, March 2nd, uh, as, the, as the month of fasting begins. And uh, really so looking forward to sharing that song with you. And uh, in, in the last video, we had, we, had, uh, we had reached a point in the story of, uh, of the Dawnbreakers where where Mullah Hussein, the young student of, of, of the shaky school, the, the school of the promised one, had, uh, had gone on this, on this mission to, to Iran to win the support of a, of a famous dignitary in Iran in order to gain some protection for, the, for Sayyid Qasim and, and the school. And uh, Mullah Hussein arrives back at the school in Karbala only to find that his, his teacher has passed away and has left no successor. And so he asks his fellow students, what, what, what were the last wishes of our beloved teacher? And they say to him, well, the, he, he, uh, he told us that the promised one is already in the world and, and he told us to, 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 to go out and, and search for him. And Mullah Hussein says to them, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. And he, uh, <laughs> The, these students, they, they don't really know what to do. They don't know where to start. And they start to make excuses, saying that they have other things that they need to be worried about in Karbala. And, and uh, they, they say to Mullah Hussein, they're so impressed by Mullah Hussein as their, as their fellow student. They're so impressed by him that they, they say to him at one point, look, uh, we all have so much respect for you that if, if you were to claim to be the promised one yourself, we would all uh, accept that and believe in you. And Mullah Hussein is appalled that his friends would, would think this. He's, he's described as a, as a very humble person in the Dawnbreakers. And in fact, in, in certain parts, he's, he's described as, as quite a timid student. And, uh, and, and so he, he says to his friends, God forbid. And he, he immediately sets out to, to put his teacher's last wish into practice and uh, into action. And he, uh, the first thing he does is he embarks on a period of 40 days of prayer and meditation and fasting in order to spiritually prepare himself for this great quest that lies ahead. Uh, very much like the, the period of fasting that we're about to embark on, which is, uh, I think, really a, a period of spiritual preparation for, uh, for whatever quests we have to go on, on the, in the coming year. And so Mullah Hussein wraps himself in prayer and meditation and he starts to go over in his mind uh, all, everything that, that he has learned from, from his teacher. He starts to rehearse all of the signs the, the, that, uh, that, that Sayyid Qasim had, had told him would be manifest in the Promised One. He, he starts to remember these things. He is of noble lineage. He is a, a descendant of the Prophet Muhammad. He is young in age and medium in height, he, he abstains from smoking, and, and he has innate knowledge. And Mullah Hussein remembers that there was one special sign that Sayyid Qasim had once told him of in private, and that was, it was a sign that would enable Mullah Hussein to unequivocally recognize the Promised One. And that was this, that the Promised One would, unasked and, and spontaneously, unravel the mysteries of a particular story which is found in both the Bible and the Quran and that is the story of Joseph and something that's very special about the story of Joseph is is the fact that it's a story that is that is cherished by Jews, Christians and Muslims alike and so this story of Joseph is really a point of unity between these different faiths and, and in some traditions it's actually known as the best of stories and Sayyid Qasim told Mullah Hussein that the promised one would, would use this story of Joseph to initiate a process which, which, which ultimately would pave the way towards 
greater unity and understanding between the different religions of the world. And so Mullah Hussein completes this, this period of, of prayer and meditation and fasting and he sets out on his quest, going wherever the, the dictates of his heart direct him. And he, he, he says he feels drawn like a magnet back to Iran, but this time to the city of Shiraz in the south of Iran. And he, he travels to Shiraz accompanied by his brother and his nephew. And the three of them arrive at the gate of Shiraz and Mullah Hussein wants to have a moment alone at the gate. And so he, 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 asks his, he tells his brother and his nephew to, to go ahead of him and he, he'll meet them later on in the town. And while Mullah Hussein is, is uh, standing alone at the gate of Shiraz, he sees this young man appear and, and walk towards him, smiling at him. And this young man walks over to him and embraces him uh, as if he were a, 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 an old friend who, who was expecting his arrival. And he welcomes him to Shiraz and he in, invites Mullah Hussein to come to his home and have some tea and get some rest after his long journey. And Mullah Hussein, he, at first he tells him that he has to that his brother and nephew are waiting for him, for him and he has to meet them in the town. But the young man, he simply says to him, commit them to the care of God, they'll be fine. And he insists that Mullah Hussein uh, comes to his home. And Mullah Hussein is so uh, charmed by the manner of this young man that he goes with him and they go to his home and the young man serves him tea and starts to ask him about his journey. And Mullah Hussein says that he's, he is a student of the great scholar Sayyid Qasim and he is out searching for the promised one. And the young man says to him, well, how, how will you know when you found him? And so Mullah Hussein starts to describe all these signs and qualities that his teacher had, had told him would be manifest in the promised one. And the young man considers each of these, these descriptions and uh, to the great surprise of Mullah Hussein, he says to him, Behold, all these signs are manifest in me. And Mullah Hussein is shocked that this, that this young man, who is barely 25 years old and has no religious authority, has no qualification, would dare to, to make such a, a bold, presumptuous uh, suggestion. And Mullah Hussein starts to get very uptight and he, while, while trying to remain polite to his host, he starts to challenge him. And what happens next leaves Mullah Hussein all but paralyzed in his seat. The young man stands up and picks up his pen and begins to write rapidly and speaking as he's writing. And what is the story? The subject, the story of Joseph. And this young man of just 25 years of age begins before the, the dazzled eyes of, of Mullah Hussein, he begins to unravel the mysteries of the story of Joseph, the, the metaphors, the symbols, the hidden meanings, mysteries that have just baffled the greatest scholars for centuries. This young man unravels them with, with a, 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 this, this poetic eloquence and a, a mastery of language that, that, that just leaves Mullah Hussein completely stunned. And when he finishes writing, he turns to Mullah Hussein and he says to him, I am the Bab, the gate of God, the promised one. And Mullah Hussein has actually left uh, an account in his own words of the uh, overwhelming emotional experience of, of witnessing this, this uh, world-changing declaration. And I'd love to just share with you Mullah Hussein's words, which are recorded in the Dawnbreakers. He says, This revelation, so suddenly and impetuously thrust upon me, came as a thunderbolt, which for a time seemed to have benumbed my faculties. I was blinded by its dazzling splendour and overwhelmed by its crushing force 
Excitement, joy, awe and wonder stirred the depths of my soul. Predominant among these emotions was a sense of gladness and strength which seemed to have transfigured me. How feeble and impotent, how dejected and timid I had felt previously. Then I could neither write nor walk, so tremulous were my hands and feet. Now, however, the knowledge of his revelation had galvanized my being. I felt possessed of such courage and power that were the world, all its peoples and its potentates, to rise against me, I would, alone and undaunted, withstand their onslaught. The universe seemed but a handful of dust in my grasp. I seemed to be the voice of Gabriel personified, calling unto all mankind, Awake, for lo, the morning light has broken. Arise, for his cause is made manifest. The portal of his grace is open wide. Enter therein, O peoples of the world, for he who is your promised one is come. And so Mullah Hussein's discovery of the Bab uh, really opens up a, a new chapter in the, the spiritual history of the world on the night of May 23rd, 1844, in Shiraz, Iran. And the opening words of Promised One actually come from that very book, that the Bab spontaneously revealed for Mullah Hussein on that very night, the commentary on the Surah of Joseph. So the song Promised One will be released this Saturday, March 2nd, as the fast begins. And uh, I, I really hope that whoever is fasting, I hope that uh, that this, this period will be uh, a period of spiritual preparation, uh, just as Mullah Hussein prepared himself for for his quest, I hope that uh, this this month of loftiness will prepare us all for whatever quests we have ahead in the coming year. So, promised one will be released on the Facebook event page Gate of Heaven on Saturday, March second, and I look forward to sharing it with you then. Thank you so much. Bye.